Hi everybody, it's 314 React here, and today we're going to be playing Tomb Raider 3 again, and we are at the high security compound. This will still be stretched out, unfortunately, because I'm putting this in widescreen. Did have a look at the PC Gaming Wiki. I did find one patch on there, but I think that required a Patreon for like $8 a month or something. Uh, but I'm not sure if there's another patch to fix the widescreen issue. I'm sure there is. I'm just filming this a little bit late today, so I'm just going to bear with the stretched widescreen, so I hope you don't mind. I don't think it looks too bad, but... Yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll have it fixed by the next time I do more footage on this. So, I remember from the demo, the way we get out is through here, and we go through here, we go around here. There is a clever way you can get less battered by this guy, but I'm just going to tank the hits. So this is where Lara requires that the prisoners help her out. Because despite the fact she's taken on uh, Atlantean gods and stuff... <laughs> She needs a bit of help taking on some guards without her guns. Well, now I love this level uh, because it is the immediate precursor to Area 51, which is awesome. But also, if you just listen to the music here, you've got that kind of almost vocal sort of sound. But then like a heartbeat in the background. And to me, it just shows that Lara's in a serious situation and she's capable and kind of badass, but she is in a, you know a bit deep, and she is a bit scared, and it just adds a layer of tension to this level that is just so cool. Especially the fact you can't actually fight anyone, and there's always something I really enjoyed. It also brings me back to uh, I think demo two for the PS One or something, which had Crash Bandicoot three and Tomb Raider three demos on it, and it always reminds me of playing that because that had this sort of level, but it was co combined with Area Fifty One. It was it was very different, but. That nostalgia for 1998 is just awesome. I mean, Tomb Raider 3 and Crash Bandicoot 3 doesn't get any more 1998 than that. Okie dokie. So, there is a secret here. We'll move these boxes in a certain order. Part of me wonders if Lara intended to get captured. I don't know. Alright, so... So that's the way out up there. Drag this one back. There we go. So I am trying to get all secrets. I think you unlock a level at the end. Oop. All right, so I'll take a running jump across here. Whoops. I was playing this the other week. I noticed that the textures will randomly change around here when you load and reload. I don't know why. Carefully walk through the barbed wire. Video game logic there. You can just walk through. I've got a guide here to help me. And I'm on PC so I can just save as much as I want. I can't even imagine trying this on PS1 again. Because it would just be an absolute nightmare. I see you've got a beginner's trap here with this. will screw you over. I don't know who designed this place. It's really strange. And it gets stranger. Oh no. Okay, we're down. So there's kind of stealth elements to this game. Because <laughs> you kind of have to avoid these guards. But the game was never really built for it, so... There we go. It's, it, it's a bit wonky, the stealth mechanic. And I think they lean into it even more in Chronicles. Okay, this guy's got some gear on him. Oh, again, the overly huge key cards. Yeah, I think this is where it gets really strange. Yeah, right, okay. You're about to see how this game gets supremely weird. So this is like some sort of storage area where they're storing MJ-12 boxes. And then you've got these toilets here. So, you know, prison bathroom, right? And you can hear some flames from the kitchen the other way. Okay? Keep all that in mind, okay? Just keep all that in mind. So we get this MJ-12 box here. And we want to... Okay, we're going to have to push it, like, right around the room so it ends up under here. So then we can climb up on it. Okay, that took forever. And by the magic of editing, you didn't have to suffer it. Let's climb up here. Standard air vent, right? I mean, sure, it looks like we're in Cortex power, but whatever. Now, here's where it gets crazy. So we pull this switch, right? Okay, what did, you know, what did that do? Okay. Didn't do a lot, right? Oh, look. 
Oh, look, suddenly the... <laughs> So, <laughs> suddenly the storage room has filled with water, so we swim down into it, and this whole area, this whole area has filled with water. I mean, how? It's just, it doesn't make any sense. So in the air vents, there's a switch to what? Overflow all the toilets to the point where... Whoa! Oh no! Okay. I wasn't- I didn't mean to do that. That was not the right way of doing it. So I'm supposed to be dead because that, that was supposed to kill me. Oh no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Press the button! So I need some backup. Um, why aren't they killing him? Kill him! Kill him! Thank you. So I think we've just accidentally skipped part of the game there, but I don't think I've missed any secrets or anything. Go through here. We're in the control room. Okay. So we want to go back into the kitchen. And now we can get up here. And what kind of kitchen is this as well? I mean, it's huge. And what are they cooking? None of it makes any sense. That's part of the magic though, isn't it? It's just video game logic to the absolute max. I'm fairly certain this is where they just started using glitches used for gameplay, because you can sort of climb halfway off the ladder to these areas. Oh, nice. They're just too evenly matched. Well, let's leave them to it. Okay, we can't leave them to it because I need this guy to die so I get a key card off him. Maybe I can. Oh, here we go. Finally! <laughs> right, key card type B. Ladder skip. So we need to open a cell door. Button one. Ah, okay, alright, so we're back here. Cool. Oh, here we go, yellow lock. So you just got a random, like, Sam turret just moving around there for some reason. Bet whoever made and animated that is very proud. I would be. It's pretty cool. The Stealth Fighter Hanger. Ooh, see, this is where you see all the really cool stuff. Alrighty, let's go up here. Whoa! Does it want to go in here? Oh. More kind of stealth here. This should be funny. Damn it. I think he's just going to walk into it anyway. Nope. Okay. Back he goes, back he goes, and then... So he doesn't seem to be bothered as to why the laser is turning on and off randomly. But he won't walk into it. Oh man. I am way too tired for Tomb Raider today. But I'm going to do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it. Thank you. Oh my god, at last. So we're about to get to the satellite dish tower. Whoop! <laughs> See, the Nevada level just seems so small and easy compared to this. This way, you need a guide. I'm not ashamed. This game is just evil. Did someone just forget to texture these properly? This could be that random bug I mentioned earlier where the textures just randomly move around and do things as you reload. Is 
Is this gonna work? Huh. Okay, again, this is where it gets weird. As if it wasn't weird enough already. So, for some reason, this big satellite here out in the desert, or indeed what looks like a Star Trek TOS set, for some reason, has a pool of water below it. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. That was ridiculously close. Oh god, why has it got a pool of water below it? Why is there like a weird tidal system? So I've been sucked into that system. So, again, if you're on... Oh, if you're on PS1 and you haven't been able to save for a while, kind of screwed there. Oh my goodness me. Right, so you want to go up, 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 up. Oh yeah, this is going to be a pain. Come on, swim up, swim up, swim up. There we go. No! Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's just... Okay then. See, I played this the other week. This level took me the better part of a Saturday. Like, it was like six hours. So I'm not going to do it all in this video. Come on, come on, come on. Climb up, climb up, climb up. So you need to jump around here. I'll play a little bit more and then I'll wrap up the video because there's a funny bit that I noticed. And I want to reference it. So we jump around here, we jump around here. So it's this bit here. You jump up. And it is completely... The, like, engineering air duct thing from Event Horizon. Like, it completely is. Completely, 100% is that bit from Event Horizon. You just expect the lights to go off in here or something. And if you haven't seen Event Horizon, you should go see it. Unless you don't like horror films, then probably, probably don't see it. But if you do like horror films, then you should probably see it because it's a cool film. And that is where I'm going to wrap this level up because there's probably still a good couple of hours left of this level. Yeah, it looks like I'm about halfway through it. I love this game, but it's so tough. And again, sorry about the, the stretched screen, but hopefully I'll have a patch sorted out for the next time. I think the next video, this will be in a couple of weeks. Next week, I've got a Power Slave Exhumed video going up because finally they added in inverted mouse and I can now play it. Please do let me know if there's any other games you want me to cover. I do intend to go back to Unreal Tournament and I hopefully will have a tech project up at some point. So keep an eye out for all those, all those good things, all those good things. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment. I hope everyone's staying safe and I will see you in the next video.